guys this is Mubeen we are talking about the cardiovascular system embryology. The lecture today is the last lecture for development of the heart. We will do the vascular system afterwards and we will do the fetal circulation after this. So, the last is the conduction system of the heart really fast, really quick and cute lecture, nice lecture. So, first of all let us look at the standard structure that are involved in the conduction system. So, what happens is that there is an SA node that is present, SA node that is present near the opening of the superior vena cava. There is a AV node that is present. So, this is AV node. AV node is present behind the endocardial cushions and in front of the coronary sinus. So, this is the this is the coronary sinus. You know that developmentally coronary sinus is the attritioned left horn of the sinus venosus. This here, this here is the valve of the inferior vena cava. This is inferior vena cava, this is superior vena cava and of course, this line, this line is crista, crista terminalis. So, if there is a crista who is listening to this lecture, this is crista terminalis is the line not you. So, AV, AV node is present here, sorry a, SA node is present here, AV node is present here. Then we have the bundle of his that is a branch that comes out, conduction system that comes out of the SA node. It splits into two in the interventricular septum and then finally, it goes and becomes his Purkinje system. So, if there were papillary muscles here, 1, 2, 3, it supplies these papillary muscles, it supplies the other myocardium. Let me make the papillary muscles red in color. So, trivia for you, the question for you, where do the papillary, papillary muscles come from embryologically? Answer, the trabeculated part of the ventricle, which comes from the primitive ventricle, which is the original primitive or primordial ventricle. Okay, so, these are the papillary muscles. So, we have Purkinje system, which is supplying the um, muscle fibers, Purkinje cell, Purkinje fibers. We have bundle of his, where did I put that here? This is bundle of his. So, the conduction system is comprised of SA node, that is the fastest pacemaker that means in normal conditions that is the pacemaker. AV node that is the second faster pacemaker in case of a problem with SA node is AV node would take over. Then the bundle of his, his is in, in the interventricular septum and finally, Purkinje fibers which are supplying the ventricle. So, these are the basic structures that we need to understand and we should keep an eye on one more structure not directly related, but relevant and that is the fibrous ring that separates the atria from the ventricle. So, that fibrous skeleton that separates the atria from the, uh, from the ventricle, it is important to know that because it is insulating, it insulates the atria from the ventricle. All right. So, now let us see how do all of those things develop. First thing to note, the SA node and AV node will develop by the sinus venosus. So, in the beginning when the atria and ventricles are developing, atria, so look at this, this is the heart tube, truncus arteriosus, bulbous cordus, primitive ventricle, primitive atria and sinus venosus. Blood flow is 
blood goes into the sinus venoses, from there it goes to the primitive atria, from there it goes all the way out. So the pulsation is from the caudal to the cephalic end and that is the sinus venosis is on the lower side, but this is a bent tube and sinus venosis is on the dorsal side. Now what happens is sinus ven before sinus venosis can become part of the conduction system, atria and atrias are the pacemaker. So as the myocardial cells develop, they develop the ability to contract while they are developing. So the heart starts beating by 20 second day anyways and that we do not have a pacemaker at that time available, it is just the myocardial cells are beating. So we say that atria start beating before the pacemakers are formed. Then what happens is that the sinus venosis, the myocytes around the sinus venosis, the myocyte or the heart tissue cells which are coming from the mesoderm, local mesoderm, these muscle, some of these cells will become faster in contraction and these will become the pacemakers. So, so please remember SA node and AV node both are formed by the sinus venosis. So as the sinus venosis becomes incorporated into the right atrium, the SA node which is contributed by the sinus venosis is formed and is available near the entry of the superior vena cava. So this is the SA node and it takes over the beating, the, the heartbeat. The AV node develops near the coronary sinus and I know, I hope you know, we have done it in the other lectures. When the sinus venosis is incorporated, the left side of the sinus, if this is the sinus venosis opening in the atria, this is the right side, it makes a crista terminalis, the left side becomes incorporated in the interventricular septum and you do not see it. The right side is, this is the crista terminalis, on the lower side it makes a valve of the inferior vena cava, then is a coronary sinus which is the opening of the left horn of the sinus venosis which became shrunk and then right in front of that coronary sinus is the AV node that is also part of the sinus venosis. So this is the AV node, AV node, this was SA node. Now as the AV node develops, bundle of his develops with it. So this is the bundle of his. So bundle of his and the AV node both are also formed from the sinus venosis. SA node is also formed by the sinus venosis. Now meanwhile there is this fibrous ring that has also developed that has insulated the atrial and muscular uh, ventricular ventricular muscles so that the electrical impulses cannot leak from atria to ventricle or from ventricle to the atria. If they do so, that is a pathological condition and you would study that in the pathologies. Now the bundle of his goes into the interventricular septum and divides into two branches. These are the bundle branches and finally these branches will then become Purkinje cell. But before we go there, let me ask you this, I have taught this before, how does this fibrous skeleton of the heart develop? How does this insulating system develop? Remember this developed from epicardium and what is epicardium? Epicardium is the visceral pericardium and where did the epicardial cells come from? They also came from the cells around the sinus venosis and where did those cells come from? The, around the sinus venosis and near the liver, they came from the local me mesoderm. So local mesodermal cell near the sinus venosis which also helped make the nodes are also helping make the fibrous skeleton. Isn't that interesting? In one place they are making insulation, no conduction at all, they are stopping conduction and in another place they are making the conduction and electrical system itself. Same cells, two functions. Now the cells here, the his branch the cells that are present here around the AV node, they become consolidated and start developing the bundle of his. These cells exhibit MSX2, MSX2 homeobox gene. So they are special cells that are surrounding the AV node that would form the AV node and the, uh, the surrounding that area near the coronary sinus and they would make the AV node and the his Purkinje. 
And final thing, the, the last part of this topic, when the, his, his bundle of his system reaches the ventricles, the rest of the fibers, the Purkinje fibers, which are electrical fibers, I am making them separate here in red color, these are electrical fibers are actually modify, modified myocardial cells. So, these cells, Purkinje cells, Purkinje cells were actually contractile cells, they were contracting. Then came the His cells, the bundle of His and connected with them. When it connected with them, these myocytes, some of these myocytes changed their appearance, they became conduction fibers and now they are called Purkinje fibers. So, Purkinje fibers, please note it down, I am going to re review very quickly. SA node, AV node and bundle of His by the fibers around the sinus venosis or contributed by the sinus venosis. Fibrous ring or the skeleton by the epicardium which is by the cells around the sinus venosis, mesoderma cells. Purkinje fibers by the modified, these are modified myocytes, so by the contractile, contractile myocytes. So, that is what we got, that is the conduction system of the heart. Thank you very much.